Sitting on the banks of the Ohio River has been Cincinnati, Lexington, Louisville, and the town of Warsaw, Kentucky, has recently remained mostly the same since they became a town in the 1800s. But even little changes, the residents in this tight-knit community are looking to keep their long-standing traditions alive. Here's Allison Montoya with today's hometown tour. A river is always in motion, and so are the people here of Warsaw, Kentucky, keeping their hometown current, but also keeping the integrity of their past. I was a history teacher, and I value this little town and, and what it has to tell us about our past and where we came from. Don't know where you're going if you don't know where you came from. Jacqueline Myler, president of the Gallatin County Historical Society, gives us a look into the past. The Hawkins Kirby House features many photos from flatboats to steamboats to a display of arrowheads found along the riverbanks in farms to items from families who once lived here. And then Captain Kirby, a steamboat captain, and it was during the Civil War. So we have his letters, of which we've made copies, to his wife. Warsaw was a divided town during the Civil War. Also on the property, a log cabin built in 1815. This place tells its own story of what life was like for the Keene family, a Revolutionary War soldier who lived here with his wife and their 10 children. You'll also learn the story how Warsaw became Warsaw, as it was first called the Great Landing in Fredericksburg. The town's founders, Colonel Robert Johnson and steamboat captain Henry Yates, found inspiration in a book. Since there was another town in Kentucky also called Fredericksburg that was established earlier, the post office was like, no way, sorry guys, we can't. So they decided to change the name, and they were inspired by this book, Thaddeus of Warsaw, to change the name to Warsaw. The rest is history, but it's history you can still see today, from the Gallatin County Courthouse, the oldest working courthouse in Kentucky, to the nearby Jewels on Main, a restaurant in a historic building serving up Southern favorites in the heart of downtown. Within walking distance is the Presley House Riverview, built in 1843, this home now serves as an event space for weddings and parties or a place to rest your head. Another place to stay or book a wedding is the stately Riverside Inn Bed and Breakfast, which sits along the Ohio River. This home was built in 1869 by local businessman and militia captain, Senior James McDaniel Sr., who lived here with his wife and three children. The home has changed hands throughout the years and is now owned and operated by Mandy Mossmeyer. We are a true bed and breakfast, so you come and you spend the night. We do a wine and cheese hour in the afternoon for you after you check in, and then um, you get up and we have breakfast at 9 a.m. The guest rooms here also honor the grounds past. So this is the tulip room, and um, this property used to be a tree farm, so they've kind of named the rooms after trees that were on this tree farm. Um, this room is the most popular because it has a great river view. Um, people can sit in here, read, and look out at the river. Another glimpse into the past is the home's original summer kitchen. You'll find many treasures here that were found on the farm after renovations. And as the river played a big part of life in the earliest days of Warsaw, it's just as important today. The Markland Dam sits off in the distance, and Craig's Creek runs into the Ohio River. Smuggler's Cove Marina hosts events for boaters and families throughout warmer months, and another draw along the river is the Sunset Grill, owned and operated by Leslie Lovelace and her husband. It's almost like um, you're kind of on a vacation every day coming down here and sitting and seeing the river. Surrounded by great company, great food with a view, the Sunset Grill is a favorite for visitors and locals. We have an amazing staff, we have a great menu, um, and really just the atmosphere that we've built. We have entertainment every weekend, um, and um, yeah, I mean, there's just a, a lot of cool things to do here. And now to the mayor that keeps this river city current. We did our sewer expansion so we can have develop the east end of town, and uh, after that, we're looking at redoing our fire department and trying to get a, we're gonna try to build a new firehouse for our fire department. We're working on a lot of infrastructure right now. Mayor Charlie French says his hometown of Warsaw is on the rise and growing. People love to come here and get away from the city life, enjoy the water, and enjoy the family-friendly fun throughout the year. We have a great fireworks show. We have live music. It's a two-day event this year. We have crafts set up, food vendors. Uh, we have a 
killer 4th of July parade put on by the Masonic Lodge. It's a it's huge. So this is your sign to come down and visit Warsaw, Kentucky, maybe walk through their historic downtown, eat at one of their many restaurants or just enjoy the Ohio River or Craig's Creek. From Warsaw, Kentucky, I'm Allison Montoya, Fox 19 Now.